happy day, and welcome to the Susan and Solas Homestead. Please like, subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. You never know what you're going to find. There's a lot to see, a lot to laugh, perhaps even learn. So here is an update on our indoor, I don't know, water environment? Experiment prototype living filter again. Here's the equipment that we were gifted from that wonderful restaurant, Page Restaurant, high-end restaurant in Sag Harbor, North uh, Long Island. And he gifted us all his old aquaponic equipment. And this was a tank that they had tilapia in, if you'll check out some of our other videos. And we've been trying to get it growing with just the air and the plants and the filtration. And, might I say, it is growing. Let's see. We've got loaches growing in here, eating algae. Got a bunch of tetra floating around. If you can see in the back, that is our filter. That's the philodendron plant. It's growing in there, and it's just an incredible root system. Though, I don't know if you see all the dots, this is an issue. These are bladder snails. Some snails you like, but these guys reproduce like rabbits. There's a nicer snail. I think that's a spiral devil snail or something. It's a cool snail. Look at that thing. Woohoo! We want more of those sucking on the tank. But look at all those other guys. We also have a few other types of snails. There's a mystery snail. That's a nice snail. But we don't want all these pond snails. Suzanne did a little YouTubing and internet searching and someone recommend just put lettuce leaves in the top of your tank and let it float around overnight and then take them and throw them out. Well, she said, why don't we feed them to the fish and check this out. I tr we we're trying castor beans in there because they grew very good aquaponically and one of the leaves fell in and it was just floating on the top since uh, a day or two. And look at the amount of snails that are on there. Now, if we did this with a kale plant, and then you had 100, 200 snails, and then fed them to the koi system, another cycle of life, whippity woo, I'm ready to do. Uh, we're gonna try it. She's bringing home lettuce today, organic, and we're gonna lay them in there overnight. And, that will be instead of poisoning or using different type of snail sides. Yes, they have them. Uh, we will use organic lettuce and then it will become a food source for some of our other beloved animals. Just showing you some more snails. All we're doing is circulating the water. I have a little valve on here and then I put a drip line valve that goes in these overflows which are set off. I'm going to show you in the back and we just put bio balls. It has created one of the best environments for breeding and growing baby shrimp. I mean, it's incredible. I'm gonna to try to show you a little colony. If we could see. Yeah, we're gonna to have to go around the other back. Oh, there's some. See them in there? Hey guys, there's a whole little colony of shrimp. There you go. Hey guys, what are you doing? Just hanging out, eating all the crap that falls on the ground? Cleaning your fish tank? Well, how delightful. Look, there's a little ram's horn shell. We want that snail. It's the other pond snails that we don't want. Oh, there's a beautiful mystery snail. Let's see if we can get a close up of her. Look at that thing, darn it. What a handsome. You can see that little tube on the side. They send that up and they actually get air sometimes. Those are antennas and that's her beautiful trunk as she sucks algae off. There's more baby shrimp. So, everything is going well. The system is a little cloudy right now because I was doing some filter work and we had to pull everything out and reset it. Oh my God, be prepared. They had these little fittings down here and one snapped and I didn't have an extra one and all the water was just overflowing. 
So, here is the back environment. And you can see the root system, it's just bio balls and root systems, and they're growing incredible. And, din, 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 it also makes what? Oh, where is it? And there is the only tube. There's just one drip line that goes up and is connected to there with the little valve in the front so I can control just a little stream of water goes down there. And look at it created a whole little baby shrimp colony. And they're growing, breeding, eating. Let's see if I can get a little closer. He's a cherry red shrimp. Mole baby shrimp everywhere. A baby shrimp over there. Look at that cute little baby shrimp. Oh, there's three baby shrimp. Oh my god, they're reproducing. Check out some of our other videos. We have one really cool where uh, these are rather interesting and amazing animals. They're fanning their eggs. Wow, they're just breeding. That might be a different type of shrimp, a bamboo shrimp. It's like a different color. Uh, well, you get the idea. So, more philodendron roots. Look, they're digging down. Super oxygenated. You can see the plants from above. We got a few temporary grow lights until we can make a better investment. Monstera, this is cuttings from the aquaponics center outside. Wow, it's kind of beautiful, right? Make it short. Put some funky music. But as you can see, they're doing incredible. We put some other philodendrons, they're new, and we want to add some color, so the red philodendrons. And here's that castor bean plant. It grew great in the aquaponics outside, so we figured we'd try it. I don't think it's doing as good. I mean, it's not dead, but it's not super growing. Uh, but that leaf right there that dropped off, we're gonna catch all those snails and feed them. A pest is gonna become a food source for our koi fish. It's amazing. Let's see, oh, look at that. This is a whole nother little colony. This little crevice in there. The shrimp went in there. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get a good view, I think, because it's gonna be too much. More snails, and the snails in the way. Well, whatever the case is, that whole little stone has a little half inch crevice and a whole community of shrimp all living up in it. Just incredible philodendrons. Well. Have a fantastic day, and love some nature today. We'll keep you updated, and there's going to be more long form and informative videos on all of our systems here. Uh, less talking squirrels, but they'll definitely be cats. Have a fantastic day again.